Hello and welcome everybody to my startup tutorial in the beautiful art of beekeeping. Uh, this is provided to us uh, through a, mod a Minecraft modification called Forestry that has been created and is maintained by a fellow crafter named Sengir. In order to start our beekeeping career we will have to get some bees of course. Now this can be found in uh, nature uh, in two forms, this um, brownish uh, beehive and this white beehive. I have demonstrated here where you can actually find them. This is the meadows beehive that usually is found in uh, grass areas and basically meadows. <laughs> And the white one is called uh, the forest beehive and is of course found in uh, uh, tree infested areas. Now, uh, each one of these beehives uh, has a bee queen inside, uh, but we can't get uh, to them just simply by doing uh, punching it. <laughs> we need actually a scoop. Uh, this is crafted, crafted like so, so you basically need uh, one piece of wool, doesn't matter which color, and some sticks around it. And with that scoop, we get a bee. Because I have my apiarist uh, backpack, that bee automatically went into my backpack. So let's search it. As you can see, this is our forest queen. And now let's get our meadow screen. And again the same thing, uh, the meadow screen got in here. Now I don't need them in here for now, I'll just put them in there. As you could see the apiarist backpack is basically um, a small recipient for uh, when we go into the field and we... or we just don't want to use a chest and by the way the chest is called uh, the apiarist chest and is crafted like so these are honeycombs I will explain uh, them later a little bit okay so we got our queens now what are we going to do with them uh, in order to start producing uh, uh, honey and uh, beeswax we need to make some apiaries these are crafted like so uh, so a sturdy machine in the middle some tin gears in the corners and some glass the tin gears are basically stone gear and four tin ingots on the side it doesn't matter which one I have installed now red power and, and also industrial craft so I have a lot of Tin ores. Um, so let's uh, put these guys down, and um, as you can see, we have a small interface over here. This indicates no queen. Okay, so we have to put uh, one of our queens in there, and let's just wait a few seconds. The thing is, we need to put a small flower. Only one is enough next to this apiary. There you, you saw it, there was a small puff and now it has, it says to us there are no flowers around the apiary. Uh, that small puff basically means that um, this apiary checks every uh, few seconds and that is shown by that small puff. I already uh, put one in here and of course there are no flowers uh, so we need uh, a small flower. A vanilla flower and now when uh, it checks again it should uh, this no flowers here should uh, disappear also you have to check in here because um, not only does it say no flowers or no bees it also says if it's night time or raining um, okay so now everything is in order the queen will start producing um, honeycombs and also this is the health bar for that particular queen which will start dropping now when it uh, drops 
all the way that queen um, will produce one f uh, princess and one to three uh, drones as you can see now it is raining so yeah let's stop the rain and also make it sunrise and there you have it um, besides uh, princesses and drones it also produces um, honeycombs as you can see here and of course it starts generating additional flowers next to the um, apiary so what do we do with uh, our princess and drone uh, first of all I want to say that you need at least uh, three queens to start off your um, your beekeeping career uh, because um, you will need a steady supply of drones at least uh, for uh, for the beginning for the beginning so let's say we have um, some drones like 10 or 20 <laughs> so now we need to combine the species okay so we combine it like that. We, we put a princess up there and a drone down here and we get a meadows forest hybrid okay so this is uh, usually what happens you get uh, some kind of hybrid and in some cases you will uh, be lucky and get uh, some kind of uh, cool hybrid so not only a forest meadows or meadows forest you will get something like meadows common or forest common or common meadows okay so this is a new species of um, of bees that we have discovered so how do we proceed from this point uh, forward so let's say we got um, a meadows common queen we let it uh, die and uh, it produces for us a meadows common princess and meadows common drones we proceed to, to mating them and there is a small chance that it will give us a pure common queen now in this case it gave us a pure meadows queen let's try our luck with this one a pure meadows queen okay this one this also common meadows hybrid it eventually um, through th trial and error you eventually get uh, a common uh, a pure common breed but uh, as uh, as i've said this is the the only way to to get such um, such pure breeds so um, yeah We've um, <clears throat> mated uh, some of them, so we got uh, a common hybrid. Okay, so let's uh, let me introduce uh, to you the the menu that comes with uh, the apiary's chest and also the apiary's backpack. Um, as you can see here, I have. Um, a little bit more not only the forest and the meadows but also the common pure queen and also a cultivated uh, pure queen okay so let's see what the um, <clears throat> the menu says over here as you can see uh, for the forest we have um, the the light blue one uh, which is uh, which has a small up sign okay and on the second row we have uh, red 
grayish and blue uh, bees so what this means um, let me show you what it looks like without those bees over there so basically there are a lot of uh, question marks uh, what this tells us is that the light blue uh, bee which is the forest uh, bee uh, was su successfully bred with uh, these uh, species the meadows the common and the cultivated and uh, all these uh, uh, breedings produced um, a special kind of queen so all these breedings resulted in a different uh, breed of bees okay so if i just uh, combine forest with meadows and it gave me a hybrid meadows forest that uh, um, red bee over there wouldn't appear it would uh, just be a question mark but since i have uh, i got uh, a special a uh, new breed from uh, that crossing that um, meadows uh, that red bee over there appeared okay so when i crossbreeded forest with common i actually found a new breed so that of course was registered by the by the chest and was put in there and when i uh, combined again a uh, forest a pure forest with a pure cultivated i obtained another a uh, new breed and that of course because it was a successful breeding uh, was um, put in the in the menu okay uh, let's see the menu for the common so uh, as you can see i breeded the common with meadows forest and cultivated and each and every time they um, gave me a new breed of bees so i basically now i need to breed the common with some other new species to to obtain something new now the cultivated as you can see again i obtained um, something new with uh, each and every one of those uh, what happens uh, let me just check my my sheet over here so when i bred um pure meadows with uh, pure forest i went i got uh, 15 uh, combine uh, 15 uh, new queens that were a combination with the common branch so the the rest were simple combinations with um, between forest and meadows but 15 of those were a combination with common so nine were a com uh, were a common something common forest or common meadows five of those five of those 15 were meadows common and one of those 15 was forest common so as you can see there's a uh, pretty much a uh, one in four chance if i'm not mistaken and i think i am mistaken <laughs> there's a uh, um anyway uh, uh, quite a small chance that uh, you would get the common branch uh, now I went and combined common with forest and also common with meadows and that gave me the cultivated branch okay so from 64 uh, combinations uh, in common with forest I obtained 11 uh, combinations that gave me uh, the cultivated branch um, when I went further and combined like this uh, cultivated uh, princess with the forest drone and I think yeah it got in here uh, do I have any more space pardon me ma'am when I went like this um 
from 64 combinations I got uh, two that were cultivated noble and one that was was forest noble so basically combining cultivated with forest gave me the noble branch and when I combine cultivated with meadows that gave me the diligent branch which is uh, also the indu an industrial branch and the uh, industrial branch uh, uh, gives us propolis okay so all this uh, beekeeping usually gives us honeycombs and honeycombs when uh, put in a centrifuge okay which is crafted like so so a sturdy machine and copper ingots on the side um honeycomb produces beeswax and honey drops beeswax uh, is usually used mainly in um, containers so wax capsules and pipe waterproofing and if you also want some torches and honey drop is basically used for food let's uh, see that uh, you can use it for catalyst okay show me the food so glycerin melon but you need honeydew for that so honeyed slice is the basic uh, food that you need honeydew is produced by the noble branch of the bees which basically means the noble bees the majestic bees and the imperial bees but uh, yeah that's that's pretty much we're not interested in that we are interested in uh, for starters in a honey slice and the beeswax for recipients um, okay the industrial branch as you could see brings us propolis which of if thrown in a centrifuge gives us sticky resin and that's kind of nice because um, it basically besides the the tree farm that uh, forestry brings us you can also use uh, this uh, beekeeping side of forestry to get some sticky resin Propolis with a diamond transport pipe gives us the apiaris transport pipe and let's get some stone pipes um, <clears throat> let me show you how you might want to use this uh, this pipe okay just like that thank you so let's say we have some uh, bees in here um, the forest cultivated wow that's uh, actually quite a nice uh, combination so i need the cultivated uh, branch from here so i get in the menu of the apiaris pipe and let's see so we need uh, to get in the in the black side we need to get some bees okay so here we're gonna need a bee um, and i want it to have Um, the cultivated in it. I'm not interested um, in the forest, I just need the cultivated, be it uh, the primary or the secondary branch of that hybrid. Okay, so we'll tell it like okay, so cultivated in the primary or cultivated in the secondary. Okay, so i want these two combinations to to get in through the black side uh, and um, through the blue side i want basically um, anything okay so anything just like that okay so let's uh, watch a little bit 
how this guy works and also start that engine so we can see the process as you can see the honeycombs were thrown through the blue side okay so it gave us uh, one princess and some drones let's start our engine and first of all the princess got get taken out and that princess should go through the black uh, part okay so it got put in there and we have a drone coming in and it also got put in here and let's see what happens to the other drone well it also got in there because there was a free slot and the other drone that didn't have anywhere to go in this uh, setup went straight outside okay okay so let's see what we have in there another forest cultivated queen and a forest cultivated drone so this apiaris uh, pipe basically allows you to do some automated uh, beekeeping sort of uh, sort of speak i usually uh, use it to maintain um, a steady supply of pure drones from a specific uh, queen okay so i don't want to be bothered with um, uh, pulling my purebred queen from there and uh, my purebred princess and combining it with the drone I just use an apiaris pipe and um, cycle that through okay this is it for this uh, this tutorial it's been a long one uh, the main reason I wanted to do this was because of this menu um, because it's uh, it's quite annoying it was quite annoying for me I didn't understand what the, all these uh, question marks mean so as I've said uh, when you combine two species and that combination results in a new species then uh, you have um, it tells you basically that you have successfully combined those two species so as we see here we have successfully combined cultivated with forest common and meadows uh, and obtained a new species from that, those combinations each and every time okay so that's it for now please rate comment and subscribe it really helps and as usual, don't forget to be awesome, guys. Ciao.